everyone, and welcome to our first official episode of On the Couch. Joining us today are two very cool guests, Sabrina and Megan, and they are from the graduate program here. They are graduate coordinators for student activities here at Rowan, so they do a lot of work to assist in all the fun things that we see happening at Rowan, right? Yeah. Um, so one important thing that is coming up very soon is homecoming. Yes. So with homecoming, what do we have in store? Just give us a little overview this we, year. We have something every day. Um, yeah. Homecoming is October 14th to the 19th. Um, that's Monday through uh, Saturday. Saturday. Almost Okay. Monday. Um, there's banner competition, a push cart competition, intramural battleship for the second year in a row, a lip sync competition, a homecoming concert and pep rally, which is new this year. Um, and then Saturday is the parade, tailgate, and football game. Nice. So the, everyone knows about the homecoming football game. Yes. Because it always hap uh, happens every year, you know, in high school too. But the thing we have unique is the whole week before of activities. So can students uh, go see these events? or Absolutely. Or um, do you want to talk about banner competition? Yes. Yeah. So Monday night um, we have banner competition. It is going to be students competing groups and individuals. They decorate uh -huh. a banner. They have about four hours from five to nine to decorate. Oh, that's it? Yes. Um, so, and okay. the banners must be dry by the time nine uh -oh. p.m. rolls around. Yeah. <laughs> so you can't be slapping on some paint. Yep. Five minutes so away. you've got to be strategic. Um, and <laughs> then the judging happens right at nine. Um, and after they're judged, they walk up their banner and every banner is hung in the pit to advertise okay. homecoming for the week coming up. Cool. Yeah. And they And what kind of people like make the banners? Um, usually a lot of student orgs get involved, okay. um, Greek life, um, different offices and departments on campus, and then others are just student groups that get okay. together a team and just want to participate. Oh, so it could be, it could be anyone that yep. just gets a group together and, okay, and then yeah. people judge these? Yes, and we have, um, for all of the competitions, um, a panel of judges that are consist of like pro staff, other cool. graduate coordinators, um, and a lot of alumni, which is the really exciting part. Ah, yeah. alumni getting back in the action. Yep. Yeah, yeah. cool. And then uh, Tuesday else? and Wednesday will be really interesting um, things to watch. There's the push cart competition around Bunce, Bunce Circle. It's an old-fashioned push cart competition where you have teams of four people, two males and two females. One sits in the push cart and one pushes it all the way around Bunce Circle for the fastest time. Um, oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> uh, Wednesday is Battleship, which is uh, sponsored by the Rec Center. So it's in the Rec Center pool, and you put teams of four in a canoe. And you have four canoes what? in the pool at a time with buckets, and you try to sink all the other battleships. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, so you're scooping water mm -hmm. into the other people's to buckets? To sink other people's canoes. And can you scoop it out of your own yeah. canoe? Mm -hmm. And do they actually sink? Yeah, they, oh, yeah. they, they go all vests? the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Are they wearing life vests? I don't think or, so. No. But the pool is, is four feet deep. Have to oh, okay, okay. So they're not so you're gonna, in the shallow like, end of the pool. They're not going to drown no. or anything. So <laughs> definitely um, suggest that people go out there oh, and sit cool. in the stands and watch. Oh, cool. And people can just hang out in the rec center mm -hmm. and watch. Yeah. And That's a fun one to even just watch. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, and then the pep rally this year is going to be something different than usual. Yeah. Right? Um, we have uh, country concerts. We have four artists. We have a local artist, Liv Divine, opening up. Uh -huh. um, a Nashville recording artist, uh, Natalie Stovell, yeah. uh -huh. um, okay. who was at Rowan After Hours last year and was a huge hit. Cool. Um, and then we have Joe Nichols and Uncle Cracker. So that yes. is a free concert for students, faculty, staff, alumni. Um, they just have to go to the info desk and okay. show their Rowan ID, um, student or staff ID, and they can pick up uh -huh. two tickets. Um, and alumni can go to Alumni Relations to their website and get their tickets that cool. way. And the concert is where? It is on Bunts, on Rowan Wh Hall Green. Yeah. Oh, so in between okay. Rowan Hall and Wilson Hall. Rowan mm -hmm. Hall and Wilson, right, yeah. with that just patch of grass. Yes. Yeah. So it's going to be a cool, fun, like outside, outdoor. It's the first time I think there's ever been any programming on that space. So yeah, you're right. It's a, something new for us. I, I mean, we have it, yeah. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that, and then. Is there going to be anything in the gym, like a like the, pep the usual rally, pep rally? The pep rally will still take place between Joe Nichols' set and Uncle Cracker's set. Okay, but on the grass. But on the stage. Oh, there's going to be a mm -hmm. stage up on the grass. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and this is what day? That is Friday night, the 18th. Friday night, right before the football game. Mm -hmm. uh, the football game Saturday. Well, so Saturday, yeah, the day yeah, before. Friday night, the day 5 before. 5 p.m. 10 p.m. And so, what kind of things are going to happen at the pep rally? Um, they'll bring all the um, sports teams yeah. uh, captains up and they'll announce, okay. uh, let us know when their next games are, cheer on the teams. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. And then into Saturday morning, we have? Saturday morning is the parade. Yes, we have the parade and float competition. Mm -hmm. um, so 
again, student groups are going to be creating their own float. They are going to be uh, going through the parade. Also, the banner competition. Uh, participants will be walking their banners through the parade. Um, it's starting at Bunce Circle, and it goes to ends in what lot D, right? Mm -hmm. That's where they'll uh -huh, be judged. Right. Um, a lot of them put on little skits and performances. Yes. Yeah, so that'll be fun. I guess if you are a spectator, you got, you're going to want to be in lot D. Mm -hmm. Okay, or maybe Carpenter Street sometimes. Yes, yes. Carpenter Street and the lot right outside the football game. Yes. And then we have our... Annual football game, of course. Yes. Awesome. Uh, so where can students find out all this information? They can go to our website. Yeah. It's rowan.edu backslash okay. homecoming. Oh, okay, easy. Mm -hmm. rowan.edu slash homecoming. Yes. And they can find a calendar of events. They can. For mm -hmm. everything they want to go to, and everything is free. Um, I think just Battleship is okay. signing up to participate with $10, but spectating okay. is free. Yeah. Everything okay, so they can just yeah. come in and watch, go to the concert, show their IDs. Yes, make All sure right. if you're going to the concert, you get your tickets ahead of time at yes. the info desk. Okay, tickets ahead of time for the concert, and that's it. Yes. All right, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for telling us about the lovely homecoming, and we will be right back with more On the Couch.